So yesterday I posted a video where I did a random playbook challenge and that reminded me that I still have to finish up the Carolina Panthers offense. This is going to be the last video I'm going to do on this uh, playbook, I think, because I'm switching formations, not really switch formations, it's still going to be a bunch, but I'll switch to either the Jets or the Lions or the Falcons or the Seahawks, whatever, I'll still have to look into that, but this is going to be the last video on the Carolina Panthers. Before we get into it, please make sure to like this video if you enjoyed and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Now, this is going to be on uh, the YF uh, Trio Week Formation. I think that's what it's called. And it's going to be, like I said, of the Carolina Panthers. Yep, YF Trio Week. There we go. And it's going to be a mini scheme. This is only a mini scheme. This is not, in my opinion, this is not a full offense you can take into the game. I just want to make sure you guys know. I put a lot of effort into the last video. I did. I want to do this more often. I want to do more gameplay videos. I'm going on vacation soon. So this is why I won't be able... Uh, to like really create content let's say for the next week or so i'm trying to get out as much as many tips as possible to you guys but just be aware there might not be any videos coming in the next week now this is only a mini scheme and yeah what i mean with a mini scheme it's only a scheme that you can run to start a game i don't think that this is something that your opponent is going to stress too much about but if you can get some nice easy scores before you even get into your gun bunch that's a win in my opinion so we're gonna select the play pfo stick shot and we'll actually, um, bad. I should have come on cover four because this is a cover four video. Actually, uh, let me just manually make a cover four, just like that. Uh, uh, make sure I get time. And the thing is that this doesn't matter what which hash mark you want. You can run this on either hash mark. It works perfectly fine. And you just wanna. Oh uh, my God, they did match. Wow. Sorry, I have to come in cover four drop because this actually beats cover four drop. There are a lot of uh, plays that beat cover four match this is one that beats cover four drop so we'll just do this again we're gonna call the play uh pa post shot also actually make uh, semi audibles halfback base is a good audible we want to keep that we want to go with outs for verticals and py receiver and actually you know what let me change outs and put in deep out that is one of the places that i like more so pa post shot there we go and uh, the playbook, on, I mean, on defense really doesn't matter right now. I think, I think, I mean, the Detroit Lions playbook, but I'm not sure. So this is going to be our cover four drop. And really, only thing you have to do is you want to block the halfback and you can smart draw Thomas or not. Uh, if you have a quarterback with good enough throw power, you don't have to, you don't have to smart draw him. But I still recommend smart routing him. If you're somewhere between first and 10, second and 12, somewhere around there, if you smart draw him, you'll have a better chance. I just have to make sure to get the time. That is pretty much the only thing. In game, what I would recommend you guys to do is really take time adjusting the blocking. So what I mean by that, if you have, if your opponent has someone like uh, Lawrence Taylor uh, rush, rushing with edge flat, you want to make sure that you can take the time to double team that guy. Just really make sure you get the protection down because otherwise you might be in trouble. You really need time for those one play touchdowns. But you see this works like a charm right here. Let's go to the next play. And something that I forgot to mention for this. Uh, scheme is you need a tight end with tight end apprentice or and you need a running back with backfield master you can also which i have decided to do uh go with the hot drive master quarterback I invested in rich gannon he's been playing pretty well for me so yeah that is what you need tight end apprentice and the running back with backfield master what you want to do is you want to put kittle on the crossing out thomas on a drag and mccaffrey on this uh flat drought works just fine this is cover four right now i'll shade over top to get curl flats and i'll show you the reads first of all Take the running back right there. Second of all, uh, you can, if the if uh, your opponent sets bad zone drops, you can then take the crosser. Actually, let me adjust the zone drops. I'll see you back on the field in a second. I just, have to, I just have to switch that up. So I just adjusted my zone drops to 25 yards on the curl flat. So what you do is you put kill on a crosser. Tom is on your drag. And that now you can see what we're going to do. First read is going to be to the flat. I threw that way too late. As soon as you see the flat open to the uh, running back, take it. The second read is then going to be the drag. Can throw that right there and let's just say that uh, 25 yard curl flats are not going to cover that out route, but let's just say that the out route gets covered in that case we obviously have to take the drag but uh against hard flats or something that out route is a good throw to make and the last read is going to be the crossing route to the tight end that's also going to get open along the sideline so i'll snap the ball again we'll just try to fit that in right there boom this is 
better against hard flats, of course, because what you're gonna do, yeah, ideally, is you're gonna check it down to the running back, check it down to the drag enough times so that your opponent has to worry about that, and then you can hit him with the cross and the out route. So this then makes everything better. Now I'm gonna talk about a cover three beater right here. There are a couple of ways you can be cover three out of this. You can put a comeback route on Thomas, or you can put kill on the crosser, uh, drag Thomas. And put Hopkins on the streak. You don't even have to put him on the streak. You can just put him on, keep him on this out route. That's also fine. But you, but what you'll see is that this post from Circle has a nice depth, and the break is uh, at a point where it's really nice to beat cover three with that. Uh, one thing that I have found to work uh, very, very rarely. I cannot talk. I apologize. Um, is if I motion him, I motion in uh, the post because now. It kind of gets to a spot where the deep third is going to recognize it. And now it's not as open. Even though, uh, not as open. Even right there was a pick. So what I would recommend you to do, obviously, get a quarterback with good arm strength, high throw power. And make sure that he can fit in that post even far down the field. So this is a nice cover 3 beater. You can put it both the comeback and the cross. I like the crosser better myself. Same thing right here. Try to make sure you have the, the blocking scheme set up nicely so that you can get enough time and then you can just... Oh my god. Also one thing, right there you saw me, I didn't have the timing quite right. Get the timing down, go into practice mode, try the timing because you really cannot afford to miss the timing. Because that right there is going to be a pick in online games and you don't want to have that. I just want to briefly talk about that halfback base. It is an interesting run, it is difficult to shoot but one thing that will happen as you saw right there is sometimes... Uh, the end is gonna shoot in so what you want to do is you want to double team that guy who's so bad uh, You want to double team right here and Then you get a little bit of a better chance now bad run stick by me right there You can uh, there are two ways you can run this first of all You can try to cut up the field like I did the previous two plays or you can try to get outside and then make a move right there Both of those plays work or ways work is you just have to read what's there sometimes uh, Let me actually click on him on the defense this guy right here sometimes he's gonna attack inside sometimes he's gonna uh, attack outside and you just read that guy so wrong play not bad i just the right way i was in the pass play right there as you, as you saw so we're gonna call halfback base we're gonna make sure i'm in the right play call we're just gonna see all right right there attacks inside a little bit more I'll, I'll go i'll take it to the outside that is your read guy pretty much it's not it's pretty easy to read, in my opinion. I have a bad run stick, but even that, if, but even I can read that right there. Middle was pretty bad, so I should have taken it to the outside. But you get better at this with practice, I hope, because otherwise I would be in trouble. But yeah, I just want to brief. I want. I just wanted to briefly talk about the halfback base. Four verticals right here. This is pretty nice against cover two. I'll show you this uh, against cover two. If you don't get bumped, you get a free release, and right there, this route is just. Oh my God! Richard Sherman reacted in an instant right there. Um, trust me, that works. You can throw that, even though that looked pretty bad right there. I'll call it one more time. Then audible to cover two on defense. I got bumped a little bit right there. Ah oh, man, you see how he's open. Just be careful with the pass leap because Richard Sherman just reacted out of his mind right there. He, right, he's even activated. This is probably bad look if it doesn't work, but we'll try. We'll try, man. I'm just getting shedded. Um, but you see that works. That's pretty much the only thing that I like. Actually, one thing uh, I wanted—I want to show you guys this. Um, what you can do. This used to work in previous years. I haven't actually tested it, but I'm I suppose that it's still gonna work. Uh, you see how R1 uh, is gonna come back right here? Oh my, guys! I can't get a second. And one thing that sometimes happens is R1 is just gonna stop and come back. It is one of those routes that actually stops quicker than others. So right here, you can see how it can sometimes get a broken place. See how there's large area where he can come back and like, like, then throw that ball that is one thing that you should look out for now POI receiver in that's going to be a play there are two ways you can run this um we're going to have a similar setup on the left side with the flat the tight end across to the drag and backside it depends on or not backside on the trip side it depends on what my opponent shows me if he shows me that he's running a lot of cover two I'll, i won't smart route circle if he's running a lot of cover three which he is right here um, we're gonna smart route it and now if I snap the ball you will now see how I can then throw that ball now the thing with that is you saw that was a very tight window so you have to be careful with that throw against cover three but against cover two you have a lot of an easy uh, time you have a lot of an easier time so we're gonna snap the ball and you will see how he gets in a very nice part of the field 
man i just need a second but you saw how you kind of split the safeties and that's what we want now the last play we'll talk about is outs um this play used to be very popular in man 18 especially or man 19 i remember uh throne used to run that play to me this year it's not that great and i'll show you why in a second you want pretty much every play in this formation you want to run with the uh trips to the wide side this one you want to run with the trips to the short side and you know what you do is you read the flat zone you read the flat zone actually let me call cover three right here cover three sky drop this is curve flats you read the flat zone okay boom i'll take that nice and easy no questions asked if uh, my opponent were to run hard flats now okay he's jumping down I'll hit the outro. That was actually cover two. But the thing is that w the higher zone safety, or not safety, it's cornerbacks we get, the tougher it's going to be to make that throw consistently because sometimes they'll just jump up. Even if you have some something uh, something like mid zone KO, uh, where they're going to react even faster, this is then an issue. So this is why I don't really like that play too much this year. You can run a drag from Thomas from the backside. That is. Uh, something that you guys probably have noticed i like those backside drags just because they are one thing that is kind of delayed it gives you a nice safe option but the rest of the display i don't really like too much i like the post from hopkins don't get me wrong it's decent but the main thing that used to make this play popular is the out route and flat route from the tight end and that you don't really get that this year and this is why i kind of think that this play is not that amazing so just to recap what i showed you I showed you how to beat cover three. I showed you uh, some nice ways to attack the zones. Nice way to spread them. It's important you keep in mind that you want the backside drag. As soon as your opponent starts kind of stopping that, make sure you go to gun bunch because Carolina Panthers is famous for its gun bunch. It's amazing still, but this is kind of like a side, uh, how do you call it? A side scheme out of the Carolina Panthers. And I really like it for that, but it's not too much more, sadly. Used to be very popular, not that great this year. There's another play that's called, what is it called, that has that post from the solo wide receiver. It's pretty trash this year, so they kind of destroyed that formation, in my opinion. But, actually, I forgot to show you one thing. One thing I'll show you, um, there's a nice way you can score in the red zone, against cover three especially. But besides that, this formation really isn't all that pretty. Uh, you want to have it with the trips to the short side. And then what you want to do is, uh, you want to come out in outs, uh, put Jones on a curl, smart route it, and then motion him in. This is all you have to do. This is a nice red zone play. You can either throw it to circle right here with a low pass, or you wait for R1 to get open along the back line of the end zone right there. I waited a little bit too long. You can also throw that with a high pass if you want to feel a little bit uh, safer. So, one more time. I'll just show you how you can. Oh my god. <laughs> I admit, Ola. You can throw that ball. It's open, trust me. Uh, it's. But the main thing about this play is that we have that nice uh, option to hit R1 somewhere along the back line. So, right there, boom. Try to fit that in. Very close, of course, with the defense that I have on the field, like 99 speed, 99 zone, 99 play rack. But this is the thing you can do. Now, this video was. Something that I wanted to do for a long time. Trust me, I just never got around to doing it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And if you did uh, enjoy the video, I didn't finish that sentence. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Like the video if you liked it, of course. And until next time, goodbye, guys. And there are a lot of tips videos coming because I will be on vacation, like I said. So no gameplays, no streams for a while. Uh, see you next week.